Hello, my name is Mario Moldari, and I'm the Director of Solution Architecture here at Java Software. Today we'll be discussing traceable agile and how speed and quality are possible for software factories and safety critical industries. When we ask software factory leaders what keeps them up at night, we consistently hear the following five questions. How do I know which product requirements have been missed? How do I know which product requirements are not fully covered by test cases? How do I know which product requirements have failed to pass tests? How do I identify rogue development activity? How do I know if changes have been made in hardware that impacts the software team? These are fundamental questions that should be answerable from leading agile tooling, but they're not. The reason is that agile tools focus on tasks and have no notion of the current and historical state of the project. Tasks are not tied to any state of the project, which often leads to drift from the actual needs and requirements of your customer or end user. As a result, these questions are not answerable with agile tools like Jira and Azure DevOps. However, we found these questions can be best addressed through Traceable Agile. How does Traceable Agile work? Here is an overview and diagram of JAMA Connect maintaining the state of development activity in Jira providing the flow. Task activity continues as normal in Jira, and risk is auto-detected in JAMA Connect by comparing all user stories and bugs in Jira to the expected development and test activity for each requirement in JAMA Connect. All exceptions are identified, the ones that answer the questions that keep our software factory leaders up at night, such as requirements with no user stories, user stories with no downstream requirements, requirements with no test cases or test results, etc. After the exceptions are inspected in JAMA Connect, management can take action and assign corrective tasks in JIRA as just another task in the queue for a developer. Let's see how companies implement traceable agile with JAMA Connect tracking the real-time state of progress against expected traceability in JIRA managing the flow of tasks. Utilizing JAMA's live trace explorer, you could obtain a holistic view of progress and quality across your entire development process. Live Trace Explorer shows requirement coverage in the left column of tiles and test coverage on the right column, similar to a vModel. The Trace Explorer also provides an overall traceability score, which can be used to track the progress and quality of your projects to ensure that it improves over time. Here you see system level requirements and all relationships established to track traceability. These are all completely configurable and based on your traceability model that you have defined. By increasing our trace score, we reduce the risk of defects, rework, delays, and cost overruns. Now let's revisit those five questions that we hear from our factory leaders and see how they are addressed with the live trace explorer. How do I know which product requirements have been missed? This is tracked in the live trace explorer as percentage of coverage between linkages. How do I know which product requirements are not fully covered by test cases? This can be tracked as percentage of coverage between requirements and tests or validations. How do I know which product requirements have failed to pass tests? This can be tracked by digging into coverage from the Trace Explorer and displaying the test status. How do I identify rogue development activity? Rogue activity can be tracked by a query that is looking for missing upstream links, as in this case, epics the system requirements. How do I know if changes have been made at the system and or hardware level that impact the software team? This can be easily tracked in the Live Trace Explorer by viewing the percentage of suspect relationships. Each of these can be reviewed for impact and cleared upon proper assessment. As you recall, step one of Traceable Agile is identifying exceptions in activity to what was expected in the traceability model. Observing the software to user stories relationship, you can see that we are working towards 100% coverage, but are currently still yellow at 75%. As a manager, I can deep dive into this area and be taken directly to the trace view for these relationships. Step two of Traceable Agile is to inspect exceptions and determine action. Management can easily view issues and assign tasks to engineers to remedy gaps that are discovered. I can see that there are multiple exceptions being tracked where a software requirement has no downstream user stories. This is something that I have defined as a must have relationship in my trace model and it's now being flagged. I can open up one of the software requirements that has no downstream link and instruct one of my team members to create a new user story to satisfy this exception. Let's go ahead and do that.
My employee, Jim Arlo, in this case, will receive the notice and they can create a new user story that satisfies the exception. Because of our tight integration to JIRA through our JAMA Connect interchange, this new user story will also be created in JIRA. Jim Arlo has been notified of my request in both JAMA and via email, and he is logged in to create a new user story to satisfy this trace exception. We can fill in some basic information, even utilize JAMA's predefined templates. And when we are done, we can hit save and close. And I'll be prompted about where to put the new user story. Of course, we'll put it in the user stories folder. And we will commit. Now let's go back to our live trace explorer and refresh the view. You'll now see that the software to user story coverage has improved to 87.5%, and our overall traceability score has also improved. This trace view allows for continuous tracking of an exception and continued improvement. Step three in Traceable Agile is for developers to take action as a normal flow in their backlog of activity. Let's go into JIRA and see how the added user story shows up in a developer's queue of activity. A developer working in JIRA sees that this new user story has come into their queue and they can begin to further define it. I can modify the fields in the description, fields in the name. They can even add a comment. All of this work is done in JIRA, but the changes are reflected over in JAMA. This allows for JAMA to maintain the current state of the project while the work is being performed in JIRA. A systems manager can use the Live Trace Explorer to drill into the trace view for software requirements to user story relationships in order to check various state changes and overall status of the user stories that are being worked on in JIRA. This information automatically comes over to JAMA so that the project is always reflecting the current state of work. The development team never has to leave JIRA. And in the case of our newly created user story, you can see that it is now in the done state, indicating that development work is complete. The Live Trace Explorer can also be used to drill into areas of validation in order to check test execution status. Investigating coverage of system requirements to validation by drilling in from the Live Trace Explorer, we can see that there are not only gaps in link coverage, but also many failed tests with the existing links. This gives us a view into the quality of our requirements. Another risk area that management needs to track is rogue development activity. In this case, our trace model requires user stories to be traced to upstream software requirements. We can check for cases where this has not happened. This is another potential risk area for us. We want to ensure that software requirements have downstream links to user stories, but we also need to ensure that user stories are not being created without having upstream links to software requirements avoiding rogue development activity that does not tie into our development process. By defining our traceability model, we can easily track exceptions and identify rogue activity. In this case, I have found four user stories that have been created without an upstream link to a software requirement. I can then investigate the cause for this and remedy it as needed. In summary, JAMA Connect maintains the state of the project while tasks are being created and updated in JIRA. The live trace view provides a holistic view of progress and quality across your entire development process. This allows for management to easily get insight into the five key questions we discussed at the beginning. They can continue in a cycle of identification of issues, task tracking, and subsequent improvement of overall quality and completeness across the development process. This ultimately reduces costly risk and project overruns.
As you can see, this is a fully automated process that leverages automated synchronization of metadata between Jira and Jama Connect. In combination with the traceability model in Live Trace Explorer, we can address the key questions that keep our software factory managers awake at night. Many of our leading clients have already implemented Traceable Agile and are significantly improving their traceability score, which we have demonstrated leads to superior performance and quality metrics in our traceability benchmark report. If you are an existing customer, please reach out to your customer success manager for more information. If you are a new client, please visit our website to find out more information at jamasoftware.com. Thank you.